All right, so the last thing we're gonna show you guys is the, um, is the a couple setups from your feet to get to that front headlock position, okay? So that there's two simple ones we're just gonna talk about. The first one, basically John's going collar tie, which he's using his right hand on the back of the neck of Shane, and then he's going what we call a tricep tie or an outside tie, which basically means he's taking his, his uh, hand here and he's gonna cup the back, back shoulder or back elbow, um, sorry, back forearm of Shane. And simply put, all he's gonna do is use that to just club the guy down to the mat. And as he's clubbing him, he's already in that position, so now he can reach through, get his lock, and he's got Shane in a, in a bad way. So that's the simplest one. That's probably the easiest, most common one. As your opponents get better, as I, was, um, as I explained a lot, as your opponent gets better, they're gonna realize that when you start going to that tricep tie, they're gonna fight inside. So, so John, go, wait, wait, so do it slow. So John's here, Shane's gonna try to fight inside himself, okay? But Shane, in this case, John's winning that battle, no, no, so, go, 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 go right here. here. Now Shane's gonna, a lot of times what happens, the, the, Shane is gonna go underneath. And he's gonna try to come inside and go collar tie. Yep, so now we're in a different situation. So now a lot of times what people can do is go to that hook. Right. So now John's in a hook position, an underhook position. Now this is one of those weird, you gotta kinda train your muscles to get used to this, but it's very, very effective because these guys, oftentimes your opponent doesn't see it coming. Because they don't realize, they, they, they're all thinking you're gonna use this position to maybe throw it over, to maybe hit a penetration step, hit a, hit a shot or whatever. But in this case, John's still got that collar tie on the far side, and all he's gonna do is hook the back of that shoulder, and he's just gonna pull him down right down to the mat, and as he pulls him, he starts to reach over top. So show that one more time. So you got collar tie, over top, pull him down to the mat. As he pulls him, you pull that arm out quickly, and go right to your lock. Again, burying your head on the side, getting your lock. The faster you go from any transition of a shot into your um, lock, the better off you're gonna be. So let's put it together. We're gonna go, we're gonna go tricep tie, to a club down, then to a circle away to your gator roll. So you're just here, you get them club down, getting into the tie here, you get your lock up, you're circling, circling. So he doesn't get it, that's me step over it. Double grapes. Okay, one more time, do it from an underhook. So we're here. So it's an underhook, you're coming here, Good. same thing. You come here, you club them down. Going over. Uh, you got a little too anxious there. You yeah, didn't circle away. Set it up. You need to circle away. Yep, circle away. So whenever you're down there, you go down. The, the, the key is, real quick here, stay, let's just talk about that for just a second. The reason we circle away is primarily to get that elbow off the ground. So his elbow's there. Say his elbow's on the ground, he's, or his hand's on the ground. You get it circling, yep. and it brings it up. Pinch the elbow, pinch so the like, elbow, pinch the elbow. Yep. You're here, pinching the elbow, and you're circling, it brings it up more. Bury. So able to bury. Come right around, step over, step over, double grapes. And Shane's got a pretty green set of shorts. All right, I think that's everything. See you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Say bye, guys. Bye. Bye, Piper. Bye, Mark.